We're taking beer can chicken to a whole nother level. Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. We're out here in the backyard today. You know why? We're switching it up a little bit. We're gonna do something on a Weber kettle today. <gasps> no big green egg? That's right. One of the things that we found is that people have a big problem with beer can chicken on their Weber kettle because it doesn't fit. You can't fit it on the grates. Well, guess what? I have a great way to fix that. Like I mentioned here, we're gonna do this because we're gonna get rid of this. The problem with this in a Weber kettle is that when it's closed and you wanna make a beer can chicken, the chicken sits up too high and it's hitting the top of the dome. No good, it's gonna cook in properly. It's not gonna allow proper airflow. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our vortex. This is a vortex. Normally it gets used like this. Well, we are gonna flip the script, put it upside down, set it in the center, put charcoal, you know what? I'm talking too much. Let me just show you. Now, the first thing we gotta do when using the vortex for this, it says to set it in a pan or cover the bottom of the aluminum foil. I'm gonna use my Trompo King and set it down in there. Ron, what about the spike? We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so the vortex is gonna sit, like I said, wide side up into the Trompo King. Next step, let's fill this baby with charcoal. And we just reach for our Fogo Easy Open Bag. <laughs> it never gets old to me, folks. It never, ever gets old. Now, what we're gonna do differently is we're gonna fill the edge around the edge. And we're gonna put charcoal all around the edge. Next step, we're gonna take a couple of our all natural Fogo starters here. Aren't they cool? We're gonna place them strategically around so we can get the fire lit all around this thing. Next step, go wash my hands while the charcoal lights. For those of you who have been living under a rock and do not know what beer can chicken is, it is when you take an entire chicken, set it on an open beer can <gasps> and cook it like that. Well, one of the problems that happens a lot of times is the thing falls over. So we're gonna solve that by using that Trompo King. But first to prepare our chicken, we gotta give it a good coat of spray, okay? Duck fat spray, that's right. It helps for nice crispy skin. And I wanna get a nice herby flavor on this chicken. So we're gonna use some Greek freak seasoning here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some all over. Now the fun part, the beer. Use whatever kind of beer you want, all right? Um, we're gonna use a nice, uh, let's see, what is this? Big Wave Golden Ale. So you want about three quarters of a can. So I'm gonna pour some into the pan of the Trompo, okay? Which leaves us about three quarters of a can. So we're gonna take this, set it down, and stick our chicken leg side down over the beer can. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get so the spike is right up against the beer can, all right? And just push it right down on it. Now you see what that does, no more tipsiness. It helps it stay in there absolutely perfectly. And once it's on there, you can give a little more seasoning to the spots that it missed, like the top here like this, okay? We want a nice, good coating. You know what? I decided I wanted a little heat with this too. So we have this Jacobson salt. It's actually a ghost chili salt. It's hot, but I want a little bit of heat on my chicken. So I decided to wait till afterwards to put it on. So I'm just gonna put a light little coating. It's strong and it's hot. I'm not looking for this crazy hot chicken. I don't want a Nashville hot. I don't want a Buffalo chicken. I just want to add a little zip to that Greek freak. Little add, little add, blah. Add a little extra flavor and a little extra heat. My tongue gets tied up sometimes. Now when I'm doing it like this, I like to add some veggies or something in the bottom. This time I found these beautiful little tiny onions like this. They're like little Spanish, little, little white onions. And then stick them right down in the bottom of that pan. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these small onions and at the top of the chicken here where the neck comes out, there's a hole there. So what I wanna do is use this onion to block up that hole as much. Keep any of that steam that comes up from that beer, keep it inside the chicken. This way the steam comes up, stays inside the chicken, penetrates all that meat and makes it even more moist. The whole idea of the beer can chicken is to make a super uber moist chicken. That's what we're going for. And last but not least, before we close the grill up, is we wanna monitor our temperatures. We always wanna cook our chicken to a minimum of 165. So I'm gonna take my meter probe right here, stick it right in the middle of the breast. Boom, just like that, okay? And now what's gonna happen is it's not touching the bone. We don't ever wanna touch the bone. It's gonna monitor this temperature. I can monitor it from my phone and watch the temperature on this thing go up as we cook. We wanna go to 165 total temperature. Now, let's close her up and get cooking. All right, so just kind of a little recap of what we've done so far. We took our chicken, set it on a beer can, on a Trompo King, in a Weber kettle, in a Vortex. Woo, that's a lot right there, isn't it? But I think it's gonna create a really beautiful chicken. I've done one like this, I'm not gonna lie, I practiced it and it came out absolutely beautiful, juicy and flavorful. So I'm really looking forward to sharing this with you because it's, it's a great way to do things. You know, a lot of people have Weber kettles. So we wanted to show you something that a lot of people can relate to that's gonna help solve a problem. If you had a problem doing beer can chicken in your Weber kettle, 
This'll do it. The Vortex is awesome. You can also use it for wings. We've done a video, check it out. You can place the Vortex in there like this, place the charcoal in the middle, place the wings around the outside. On the Weber kettle, the wings are gonna sit right here. So the, the, the air is forced to go like this and cook it from underneath and top at the same time. It really works great. It's super great. It makes crispy, crispy wings. That's what we like when we bite into a wing. Crunch. When we're cooking this beer can chicken on the, on the Weber kettle in the Vortex, we're gonna cook it at 375 degrees. We want nice crispy skin on this whole bird. So that's what we're gonna get by cooking it like this. The meter is reading 165, so that means our chicken is done. So let's check it out. Roll the lid back. <laughs> okay, now a couple of things before I take this out of here. I wanna point out, a lot of the charcoal in back did not uh, really burn. So what I had to do is kind of turn the chicken while we were cooking it, so I'll get an even cook on it. But if you look, it's a beautiful golden brown, beautiful color. So let's take it out and see what we've got. Thank God for these gloves because I can handle hot stuff. Okay, now the Vortex, beautiful job of keeping the coals away and keeping the direct heat from being right on it. So it is cooked almost kind of like a convection oven is really the way this work. There, now that's done. Now let's check out our chicken. Beautiful, it's got a nice golden brown skin, a little crispiness to it. I like it a lot, it's looking good so far. The wings look good, everything's looking pretty good here. And you can tell everything did get heat down here, so all our little herbs have some color on them. Looks great to me. I think there's something left to do is cut a piece open and try it out. So let's do that. All right, now that's a beautifully cooked chicken. That turned out absolutely gorgeous. Came off of there nice and easily. Only one thing left to do again. Mm. Wow. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit surprised. I was hesitant because when we were cooking it, it was cooking unevenly. It was coloring differently. It wasn't really, didn't look like it was cooking all evenly at the same time. We came out, the whole thing has beautiful color. It has beautiful flavor and it's juicy as can be. What more can you ask for? Beer can chicken perfection. Weber kettle, Vortex, Trompo King, everything. We used everything in our arsenal at this thing. So it's absolutely fantastic. Give it a shot. Listen, I, have, I don't have a lot of experience on Weber kettles, but what I did right here, I liked it a lot. So maybe I'll start doing some more videos. Do you wanna see videos on the Weber kettle? Let me know. I'll be happy to do it. Put it in the comments below. Anyway, I'm gonna go devour this chicken. You remember to get out and grill. Remember to subscribe, like, give us a thumbs up. We wanna hear from you, okay? Like I said, remember to get out and grill wherever you are, and we'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.